Welcome to DIY RV and Home. My name is Greg Day. We're in the kitchen. We're baking up some cauliflower tots. So without further ado, let's jump in the kitchen and let's make it and bake it. So in a bowl, I'm gonna add one head of riced cauliflower. Now you can go to the store, pick up some uh, pre-riced if you like. Into that bowl, I'm also gonna add one cup of Italian seasoned breadcrumbs. This gives formability and also gives some additional flavor. Now, three cups shredded cheese are going down. I've got a cup and a half each of cheddar and mozzarella. Once I get those in there, I grab another half cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Now we're gonna throw some seasonings in there. I've got two tablespoons of salt, one tablespoon of black pepper, and also one tablespoon of garlic powder. Last is one and a half tablespoons of Italian seasoning. For some texture, I've got a half cup of sunflower seeds, preferably shelled. And then for the final ingredient, I've got two eggs, preferably, again, no shells. Once I get all the ingredients into the bowl, go ahead and mix it using my hands to thoroughly mix once I get it thoroughly mixed I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the refrigerator let it sit for about 20 minutes so it firms up a little bit a little easier to form the tots I found a chunk of uh, cauliflower that uh, didn't get riced so now I tried using a piping bag to form my tots. Next time, I'm gonna use a gallon Ziploc bag, cut it end off, and do it that way. This way tended to be a little bit more messier than I wanted. So now I sprayed a sheet pan. And now I'm gonna go ahead and lay them out and start forming my tots. Now you try to give as much room as possible around so you can get an even bake on them. You see I'm just finishing it up here, getting the last of it in. And I had just a little extra, extra in the bowl, so I went ahead and hand form them. Form them how you want, hand form them, put them in a piping bag, uh, use a melon baller, it's up to you. So now I gotta go wash my hands and once I get that done, I've got it preheated oven set to 450 degrees. And I'm gonna bake these. So let's go ahead and throw them in the oven. Oh, wait a second. I did a couple sample tots off to the side before I started, so let me throw those on there. And now I can go ahead and uh, get these into the oven and start baking. Little uh, clean up. Now, you can see I've got the oven set at 450. I'm gonna go ahead and check and see how they're looking. And I'd say they need a little bit more time. So, they ended up cooking for about 30 minutes. And that was about 15 minutes on each side. So now what I'm doing about halfway through is I'm going to go ahead and rotate them, flip them over so that uh, the tops will get a little brown. Uh, depends on how you want them. Uh, pick them as long as you want, as well as you want. And uh, once you get them uh, flipped over, throw them back in and 
I finished them cooking them. Like I said, it took me about 30 minutes um, to cook these ones to the point where I liked them. Now through the magic of video, it's been 30 minutes. I'm gonna pull them out. I'd love to have a convection oven, a little more even uh, air, you know, heating, but hey, ovens and ovens and it'll still cook. So here they are. I'm just kind of checking them out, see how they look. And through the magic of video again, got them plated. I've got my favorite dipping sauce there. That is ranch dressing. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click that like button, share the video, leave a comment, and if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. On this channel, we do a lot of different things, everything from cooking to DIY repairs, in the home and in the RV.